Hey, chocolate lovers, have you ever wanted to sculpt with chocolate? Today, I'm going to show you a simple yet fantastic recipe for edible chocolate clay using white chocolate wafers. And stick around because at the end, I'll tell you some details about a live masterclass where we're going to turn this chocolate clay into beautiful chocolate roses. To get started, some of the ingredients you're going to need, 16 ounces of white chocolate candy wafers or white chocolate chips or almond bark, and you need a third of a cup of light corn syrup. Tools that you'll need, you would want to have a kitchen scale a microwave-safe mixing bowl, a spatula, a digital thermometer, some plastic cling wrap, and a plastic bag for storing your clay. And if you need ideas of a kitchen scale or a digital thermometer, I put the links in the description below of the ones that I'm using in this video. So let's get started. You want to start out by melting your white chocolate. I did not have enough wafers. I ran a little bit short, so you'll see that I'm measuring out 16 ounces of chocolate wafers and white chocolate chips to top it off. I microwaved it. You want to melt your chocolate and until it is smooth, but you do not want to overheat it. So be careful how you do it. If you have not microwaved chocolate to melt it before, you start out by putting it on high for, you could start with 30 seconds. I started with a minute just because I knew how my microwave worked, but if you're not sure, start with 30 seconds. Stir it in between, and then you want to increase by 15 second increments and stir in between each one. For mine, it ended up taking a minute and then I did 30 seconds and then I did 15 seconds and that was plenty hot. Once it's smooth and melted, then you want to test the temperature and you want it to be 91 degrees Fahrenheit. More than likely, it's going to be hotter than that. So you want to stir it a little bit, check the temperature, let it cool some, stir it a little bit, check the temperature until you get to 91 degrees. And the reason you want to do that is because if it is too warm, then the oils will leach out of the chocolate and you'll just have a mess. We can talk more about that later if you try it and that happens to you and I'll try to help talk you through it. Just to be safe, keep it to where it's 91 degrees. Once you're at 91 degrees, then you're going to pour in a third of a cup of light corn syrup. And you don't want to whip this as you stir it in. You want to incorporate it into it. Gently stir it, fold it in, and work with it gently. You don't want to overwork this or, again, the oils will leach out. Whenever you work with chocolate, you have to be very mindful of the oils that are part of the chocolate. And part of that chemistry set of making this clay is keeping the oils incorporated into the chocolate and not letting them come out of it. Mixing it together, you'll notice that it starts bonding together and it becomes thicker as, as you're stirring it. Once it is not wet anymore, then you're ready for it to cool off. Put this into some plastic cling wrap, fold the plastic over it, and then put it into a bag, and you want it to cool at that point. You can set it on the counter for overnight. You can just leave it out. Or in the case, like I did on this one, I wanted to have it sooner. So I put it into the freezer for five minutes, and then I turned it over and waited five minutes, and that was plenty cooling for me to be able to work with it. So the next step was, you'll see me unwrapping it here. I started kneading it. And it was a little bit brittle because it had gotten hard, but the warmth of my hands helped it to, to start incorporating more. And then you're just, you're just going to work with it gently to get it to incorporate all of the oils that may have still been outside of it a little bit and to get that corn syrup really mixed in well. And what's happening is the sugars between the corn syrup and the chocolate are keeping the chocolate from crystallizing too much. And that keeps it pliable and soft like a clay. And it really is a, is a cool experiment just feeling the texture of it. So anyway, so as you're working through this, be careful not to overwork it. If it starts to get too oily, stop, put it back in the wrap and let it cool before you work with it again. If you have a granite or a marble countertop, that's going to be the easiest to work with because that keeps cooler temperatures so that it doesn't get too hot. But if you're working on a laminate or another type of countertop, let it rest in between so that it doesn't get too hot. If your hands get hot easily, you may want to keep something cool nearby like an ice pack or something. Just don't get the moisture on your hands and into the chocolate because that would change the, the consistency of the chocolate. Once it's pliable and feels more like a soft clay, then you're ready to work with it. We're we're going to be using this to make chocolate roses in the next video. So if you're watching this at the time that it comes out, come and join us for the masterclass so that you can watch that later and learn how to make it. But here's a few other things that I have made using this clay recently. And we used it as part of a gingerbread house display. You'll see some of the gnomes were made out of this and Santa was made from it. We have some animals on the display. Here's, if you are able to join us for the masterclass, we're going to show you a couple of surprises that we can use these chocolate roses for. So be sure to to join us. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and also hit the bell notification so that you will be alerted whenever we are playing these videos. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video.